Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Royally Slayed. I am Demetria, a licensed cosmetologist, and today we will be talking about how I straighten my short, natural TWA hair. So um, I'm going to get into the tutorial where I show you guys what I'm doing. I just wanted to come up here and show you what my hair is looking like right now at the moment. And I've been outside pretty much all day. I had church outside, the wind was blowing and everything, and my hair still looks really good. Um, the only thing I did when I came back from church is I, like, I bend one side over here and then like a little piece back here. That's it. It didn't puff up. It didn't swell up. And I was outside. I do live in Illinois. So today the weather was like 72. But um, this routine should be good for the fall weather months that are coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you love hair videos, if you love natural hair videos, beauty things. Just please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate the love. And also check me out on Instagram and Facebook, Royally Slayed. And if you're into press-on fingernails, I do have a website. Um, it is royallyslayed.com. I'll also leave it in the comments if you want some customized or one of the designs that we have, press-on nails. All right. Thank you, guys. Hi you guys, I am starting on freshly washed hair. If you'd like to know more about the products I use, they will be linked down below. And also, um, if you like a video on how I shampoo my hair, then please leave a comment and I'll try to do that for you. So right now I'm going in and spraying the Mizani 25 Miracle Milk Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm just spraying it, um, making sure I concentrate on the middle. It's one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. So next I'm going in with Joyco K-Pack Smoothing Balm. And it's um, another form of protectant. So the Mazani is going to help protect us. This Joyco K-Pack is going to help protect us from heat. And then now I'm also going in with the Chi Keratin Silk Infusion. And this is another layer of protection from the heat. So um, I'm using a lot of sources of heat protectant here today. And now I'm going in with a wide tooth comb and just making sure I evenly distribute that product. And then also um, help detangle my hair so that it is prepared for blow drying. Okay, so now I'm taking the Silverbird blow dryer and I am using the concentration nozzle to help stretch my hair a little bit. And I also have this set on medium heat and high speed. So this is preparing me to use the powder brush and this is the real time that I'm blow drying my hair. I'm not speeding it up so you can see how fast I'm actually moving while I blow dry my hair. And just make sure you're very careful with the concentration nozzle because you don't want to keep the heat there for too long um, because that nozzle is focusing the heat in one area and if you leave it there too long, it can lead to damage. So I'm just going in a downward motion and I'm going to continue to do this around my whole head. So I'm going to speed it up. Now I'm going in with a round brush and blow drying my hair in the same way that I was doing the powder brush. I'm just using the round brush to give it a little more tension and straighten those ends. So now that I have completed the blow drying process, I am going in with the Chi Shine Infusion Hair Shine Spray and spraying it all over my head. Um, I go back, you'll see me go back a few times in this video with this spray. Just add it to your liking, you know how much 
oil and products your hair can take so my hair is thicker it can take more of the products so I go back and add more of this but I am using the Turvix 3 10 inch pencil flat iron on the shorter pieces of my hair and it did a great job you can find this flat iron on Amazon I will make sure I link the um, Amazon link below and so I'm gonna speed up this process so you guys can just enjoy watching me flat iron my hair So I switched to a larger flat iron for my front pieces because I was just trying to hurry up and finish. It was late at night. So the flat iron I'm using is the Nano Titanium by Babyless Pro. And I have had this flat iron since my cosmetology school days and it is a great flat iron. It is a little expensive, but it's worth the investment. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I finish this up and I'll be back. So here I am with <laughs> the finished product. I have like a little mushroom bowl cut going on. But um, I'm going to attempt to wrap my hair the best that I can to kind of lay it down a little bit as I'm preparing for bed. And I also wanted to let you know that I did trim my ends and shape my hair a little bit so that it had more of a short tapered pixie look and not just look like straggly haircut so yeah i'm taking the hard brush just wrapping if you've wrapped before it's the same thing just trying to do it the best way i can for my short hair and i'm going to take this mesh wrapping cap and then go on top of it with like a do-rag kind of scarf and then it is bedtime for me So it is the next morning. Please excuse the lighting. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get a new setup so that this doesn't happen again. But please bear with me, you guys, as I figure out this lighting situation. But as you can see, I went back in with the Chi Shine Infusion, Infusion Hairspray, as I said before, I went in several times. And I just kind of straightened my part to make sure it was clean like I wanted it to be. And now I am going in with another Babyliss flat iron that I got from Sally's Beauty a few years ago. And I'm curling the um, longer pieces of my hair with that and then the shorter pieces with the Turvix flat iron. Also, I did want to make note of the temperature settings that I used to straighten my hair. So initially when I first straightened it, I used the temperature setting of 415 degrees Fahrenheit. But now that I'm going in just to curl it, I'm using 
the flat iron at the setting of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And to some people that may seem like a lot of heat, but my hair is very thick, very coarse, and very stubborn. So it needs a lot amount of heat in order to get it straight. But I took the precautionary measures by using all these thermal protectants. So it will snap back. I will not have heat damage. I've done this several times before. So just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there. So here are the final results and I absolutely love how they turned out. Um, please leave a comment below if you learned something from this and make sure that you subscribe. I'm going to be super consistent with my videos from here on out. And just please make sure you're following me on my other social media platforms as well. Facebook Royally Slade and Instagram at Royally Slade. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.